okay, we in 4K. I'm just out here with my sound bowl, chilling with the spirit. Greetings, light bugs. Got the sound bowl right here. If y'all want to do some sound bathing, you know what I'm saying? What's the energy? Um, I don't think I'm, I'm not going to pull cards right now. I'm just kind of trying to, I'm just trying to clear my mind, honestly. Um, I feel like there's a lot of people who don't know about the energies around them. Um, people who are not tapped into the most high God. They're going to be triggered here. We're going to see a lot of spiritual possession. And we're not battling against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Okay? During this solar eclipse. And this energy is going to... Um, this energy is going to be very... Um, it's going to carry out into um, times after... Uh, this solar eclipse and I'm starting to uh, see this behavior uh, through my own family uh, like for instance I came outside I made me a beautiful palette uh, my grandma has like this side garden um, on her house right and I came outside I made a beautiful palette I got my, my sound bowl with me here that I'm going to be ringing in just a minute and um i got my notepad just to channel some messages and things of that nature um because in texas we're supposed to see the solar eclipse at 133 but right now um it's kind of dark and it's a lot of clouds in the air so i'm just hoping that the sun will come out um on this side um praying that i can see it for myself but even if i don't get to actually see it with my own eyes um, I'm just going to take in the energy of the eclipse and and just be okay with who I am. And uh, so while I was outside, my daughter came out here and she was like, oh, well, you know, Namal said, can you make a grocery list? And I was like, okay, well, I'm meditating right now, but let me go ahead and just write a few things that, write a few things that I know that we need. And while I'm out here, you know, uh, my energy starts bringing up a lot of flies, a lot of gnats start coming because at first they weren't around. So I knew that it was going to be something that was going to irritate my energy. And so uh, when my grandmother came out here, like I said, um, she loves me, but it's like she gets triggered about me praying or listening to high vibrational music. Like I don't even have to pull out cars. Like I could just be meditating. Anytime she hears meditation music, she gets annoyed. She gets triggered. She gets angry. She feels some type of way, right? And so um, she came outside and she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm just chilling. And she was all like, you chilling? And I was like, yeah, I'm just outside chilling, praying, you know, grounding myself. And then she gets mad, but she kind of like stares me down. But I'm kind of like trying to pay attention to my daughter. You know, I'm trying to like look through her spirit because she, she's trying to project like her judgment. So... I told her, I was like, if you don't want to get everything on the list, just get a little bit. You could, you know, Alira can go with you. That's my daughter's name. Alira can go with you. She can get help you get some groceries or whatever. You don't have to get everything on the list right now. I can go later because right now I'm praying. You know, God, I, I, I woke up. I didn't eat. I'm, I'm uh, fasting right now. I didn't drink anything. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be one with God. I'm doing what God told me to do first. You know what I'm saying? Because she, she's been going to work later or she just building her own schedule. I don't know what's going on with her work. And so she's literally about to go in the car and go, she has regular clothes on, go to the grocery store. And for some reason, she's like, oh, what are you doing out here? Um, them people are gonna say something about you being outside or whatever they already. And I'm all like, no, if I was outside smoking the blood or you know what I'm saying, doing anything else, she wouldn't have any problem. But since she seen me outside just in the grass, just chilling, you know, I wasn't even really, I didn't have anything out that she feels, you know what I'm saying? I just have my song, my, my sound bowl and this, that, and the third. And so she literally goes back inside and then my daughter comes out with the list and she said, Namo said she's going to work now. She's not, 
she's not um she's not going to the grocery store so basically she don't care if we have groceries here or not like she's so triggered that i'm outside praying to god that she goes inside she puts on her work clothes she don't say nothing she starts her car she doesn't let it warm up and she just drives off and i just continue to write in my journal i'm doing good So, 25 years, my life still, right. Okay, we got Archangel Michael in the building. And so, I take everything into context. And, and so, I was writing and I said, I'm not triggered by your family's judgment. So, right now, you know, God is saying, don't be triggered by your family's judgment. Okay, because like I said, they're going through their own dark night and their own shadow. A lot of people are going to be left behind. Okay. They try to keep you in this stuck, stagnant energy. Yeah, I think it's some mosquitoes out here right now, but it's okay. You know, everybody got to eat. You know what I'm saying? God is preparing your table, okay? And these people are not invited, okay? These people will not be invited to your table. There's not even no water out here. Maybe it's just muggy or standing water somewhere, but I've been bit by mosquitoes before. I'm not bothered by it. But like I said, don't be triggered by people's judgment right now. Okay, their journey is between them and God. Okay? I also channel my vision will not be blurred by the actions of those who inhabit who inhabit enslaved consciousness. Okay? It could be it could feel like everybody is, is turning against you. Thank you. It could feel it too. It could feel like right now everybody is turning against you. Okay? The thing that's going on with Diddy, I feel like it's really a, um, a humiliation ritual. Okay? Okay? A lot of things are being exposed right now. Okay? The enemy likes to distract you. Maybe that's how he used your grandmother while you were praying. Exactly. And it's been happening more and more frequently. Like, you, you definitely, exactly, um, Amanda, you are so right about that. Like, during this energy, like I said, it'd be the ones closest to you. And when I had left to Georgia, when I packed up all my things, you know, she seemed like she was so worried about me trying to call everybody and ask where I'm at. But it's like, when I'm here, you make me feel like I'm nothing. You know what I'm saying? You make me feel like your love is conditional. Okay. I have to pray how you pray. I have to do things how you see it. That's very controlling. And this is why we have broken the generational curse of narcissism in our family because our family is very narcissistic and they have this narcissistic spirit over their life. Okay, I'm sorry about this Sophia girl. I'm finna block her from my channel. Like I said, this is what we're going to start seeing. We're gonna start seeing people, you know, triggered by our faith, by our beliefs, okay? Like they talking, and she's saying something that's negative as saying like she's condemning you to hell, but she don't know that hell is cold. She's saying you're gonna get burned by Jesus, but that's not the case at all. It's not the case at all. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of them, you know, like, and my thing is, you know, a lot of people, they say they love Jesus so much, but you don't see them creating channels to 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 uplift people you know they don't even i don't even see my grandmother pray anymore she used to i remember when i was young we used to get on the side of her bed and we used to pray on our knees and i told her one day i said god misses when you used to do that she don't even do that no more you know what i'm saying i don't even really see a lot of you know you know fellowship in that in in the in the in, in around my family you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing a lot of destruction. Like you could be seeing a lot of things going on in your family, okay? Because they've been they've been projecting onto you. They've been doing dark things to you. They've been blocking you. They've been stealing from you physically, spiritually, okay? And they're and they're starting to receive judgment and karma. And 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 because you're not being touched by this energy, they could possibly think that things that are going on in their life is is your fault, but it's not. Okay, you are the one, you are 
You are very powerful. You are tapped in with the most high God. Ooh, these mosquitoes is tearing me up. Like I said, you could be you could be having a lot of vampires, people trying trying to come for your energy here. Like I see everything as a sign here. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you have like you have like sweet blood, okay? Or like you have an innocence about you where where people really want to suck on your source okay it's like they love when you're around but but for some reason it's like they can't take you so they they try to find ways or other people to link up with them maybe one person to link up with them to kind of make you feel insignificant or insecure okay your light shines so bright that people want to make you feel insecure or small okay or not worthy Okay, but God is going to turn something around. Okay, God is shifting something around. The will is turning in our favor because we are chosen here. All right. judgment of others stop you from 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 praying and believing hey miss walker from praying and believing in what god told you to do okay it's not about you it's what god told me to do it's not about your beliefs it's what god told me to do okay everyone has a has a choice okay something about a crossroads here Okay, that's what I'm picking up. I'm picking up a crossroad. Okay? So it's like make a decision. You've made your decision. You've chosen your direction. Now allow these other people to choose their direction, choose their side. Okay? And they can't get upset because they chose a certain side here. And I also said it's like when you come into this abundance, when you come into this money, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna look back. They're going to look back and see that they chose the wrong road. They chose the wrong judgment. Okay? They judged you too quickly here. Okay? And now they want your spiritual money. Now they want your witch money. Okay? Now they want you. Yeah, you couldn't do tarot in their house. But when you buy them a mansion, you know what I'm saying? Oh, now you can. Now you can. Now you can do tarot in their house. Like, let me buy you a house 
you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't believe in your spiritual gifts. Okay, but you got rich off of tarot. Okay, you got rich off of your spiritual gifts that God gave you, right? And then they feel like you owe them something. How? Y'all was calling me the demon. Y'all was calling me a devil. Don't you think you're gonna be cursed if you take anything from me? If I buy you a house, don't you think you're gonna you're gonna burn in hell or something like that? All the judgment that you were saying, like people don't understand that they that they hurt their feelings. They don't give up. They don't give a fuck that they hurt your feelings. They don't give a fuck. So why should you give a fuck? Okay? It's not taking any way. It's not taking anything away from your light. Don't make these people think, oh, now all of a sudden they want you to be a light worker. They want you to be peace and light. They want you to start giving. They want you to start giving to them. And 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 and, and they want to eat off your table now. You know what I'm saying? Now they don't think that the food that you prepared at this beautiful table, you got crab legs, you got a whole table full of. Now they don't think that you put spell work on this food. Now they they, they uh, uh, with the blessings that you're coming into, oh now all of a sudden, oh yeah, they'll eat they'll, they'll drink from your blood. Hmm. Yeah, even if you did, oh, oh yeah, I put, I put some abundance on, on this food right now. I bet you they won't, I bet you, they'll eat it all. They'll eat it all. They'll eat it all then. Because they're materialistic. All these people are materialistic. They're self-centered and materialistic. And they think just because they're a Christian that, that it doesn't matter how they treat people. Just because they read the Bible, it don't matter that you a narcissist. Just because you a Christian, it don't matter I'm a narcissistic Christian. Okay? It don't matter that I'm controlling, I'm a Christian. Like, what you mean? What you mean? What you mean? That's when they said it's supposed to it's supposed to be out here. It's twelve it's twelve thirty right now at, at one thirty. It, it, that's when it's so we got an hour. So we got an hour in an hour here. All right, I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes. I don't know. Y'all can't see it, but yeah, look here go here go the big one right here. Wait where it go? Oh right here it's like yeah they getting me y'all they getting me good. But it's nature. It's nature. You know what I'm saying? We won with nature. I mean, sometimes I'm a shaman, so you know when I'm tapping in, sometimes I do. Yeah, you can have them. Sunny, she, you didn't ask for them. You can't. You don't have to have everything that she have. Goodbye. I was gonna ask you Goodbye. You can give you can give him you can give him a couple. Go. Go. No, I've never done ayahuasca. <laughs> okay, I'm not against a good a good shamanic journey. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely not against it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say a lot of things, but 
I'm, I'm my blood I come from a bloodline of shaman so it doesn't have the same effect on me as it would have on other people yeah it's a lot of it's actually a few people out here waiting to see this eclipse y'all it's people sitting outside on their chairs you know what I'm saying so there's other people like you you know what I'm saying there's other star seeds like you there's other there's other people that understand the power of the universe the power of the earth Get, stop asking me for stuff close the door and leave me alone no now you can't have it now you can't have it because those are not even open that's why go away and i don't want to hear namal's voice close the door it's 128 there so at two around 228 or something like that here well wait it's 128 and it's 12 so you're at like an hour an hour away You want to go get blessed by a shaman, end up doing some ayahuasca, hopefully cleanse myself. Yeah, yeah. But you also don't need to, um, well, I, I'm not going to say what you don't need. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever God calls you to do. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Do whatever God calls you to do. Whatever, as long as you are looking for, as long as you're trying, you know what I'm saying? That That's what God sees. Okay, the number 10 could be significant. You know what I'm saying? You're using what you have, okay? You're being grateful for what you have. You know what I'm saying? And you're just letting God play out. You're letting life play out at this time. You know what I'm saying? Just let go and let God. Okay? Just let go and let God. All right? Had to get them on time out. Bugs is eating me up, y'all. Jesus like getting bigger y'all see that look at that look at that <laughs> come outside one more no stop stop interrupting me i'm gonna throw this i'm gonna throw this shoe you better move around one to close the door two to close the door three to close the door yeah i had to block people you know what i'm saying you're gonna have to be blocking a lot of people here or like people were trying to block you, cause blockages in your life right now. This is the energy that I'm picking up. This is the energy that I'm tra channeling right now. It's just sad, y'all. It's sad for the people that really say that they love you, that they try to make you feel like you're going to hell. You know what I'm saying? There's people actually looking at me. They're seeing my, yeah, for real, mosquitoes eating me the fuck up right now. But there's people that say they love you and they care about you. But just because you have something that, that creates a high frequency sound, like a sound bowl, you're going to hell for this sound bowl. Like, are you serious? Are y'all that delusional? Do y'all have, are y'all that trapped in the enslaved consciousness that you really feel like sound will send you to hell? they've been lied to their whole life a lot of people are close to death a lot of people are going to be dying alone because of how fucked up they treat people they're gonna be they're gonna be dying with these karmic ass people they were supposed to been leave behind they're supposed to been let these karmics go and they're gonna be dying with them Cause they want a man or a woman so bad and then they want to be sitting up here doing like this is this is a word for like somebody like who gets a lot of recognition and somebody that's very successful that got it out the mud got it all by themselves their family had plenty of resources to help them but they were judging them the whole time telling them they can't be talking about this type of music they can't be doing this they can't be doing that that's too that's too risque or whatever like that and they made it rich and then now all of a sudden they want to do interviews talking about their life and talking about how homeless and and this that and the third you know what i'm saying trying to get clout off of your name and shit like that this is gonna this is what this is what you're going to be this is what you're this is the um life that you're going to experience you know after god finished blessing you finished with your blessing because god ain't done with you yet okay you thought god was done with you you thought you you thought that little donation you got you know what i'm saying you thought you thought that one good thing that happened to you this year was it god said that ain't it god said 
that ain't it. They don't deserve shit. There's plenty of people on this earth that love you, that need your help, that accept you unconditionally, okay? Who know your gifts, who know your power, who know your truth, okay? Who know your pure intention. These are the people that God is sending for you, okay? And these are the, are sending you too, okay? judgment of others deter you right now because you know satan is about to be busy okay but god is but god is busier okay they have to work overtime to keep up with god because they don't know what god has in store for you that's the whole funny part about it they doing all this work and none of it is going to work okay because they forget they forget the element Okay? Of salvation. They forgot the element of salvation here. Okay? Just like in that movie Constantine, when the devil thought he was going to take Constantine's soul, but Constantine had did so many good things, okay, amongst the things that, you know what I'm saying, he paid his debt, his karmic debt here. Okay? They're mad because they haven't even been work. They haven't even begun to work to pay their karmic debt off. Okay? Some people are are going to have to sit down inevit inevitably, okay? They're not going to get out of jail, okay? They're not going to get out of prison, okay? A lot of deaths, a lot of destruction here, okay? Because there's a lot of people. You might think that some people are innocent, but they're not. They're allowing this stuff to happen because they're not standing up on truth and justice, okay? And this is why if you meant to be like a politician or something like that we need to we need to start standing up for truth and justice here okay in the best way that you can okay start your own channel and start speaking up and getting people you know aware of what's going on but at the end of the day god knows that there's a lot of things that are out of our power we don't have access to to um to these i don't really want to say it on here you know what i'm saying but these big bada booms you know what i'm saying to this extra technology that they have against us and this is why god has given us the superpower of sight of discernment okay so that god is going to lead us and migrate us in different areas of this world here so god can bring destruction to certain areas of the world here because god is rebuilding his kingdom this is why the destruction is coming okay god is rebuilding his kingdom and 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 and, and the children of satan okay they are starting to be triggered they might have thought that they were children of christ Okay, but they better wake up. If they don't, they're going to they're gonna go down with the rest of them. Okay? They're going to go down with the rest of them. And that is what it is. I don't have to be liked, but I have to be respected. Okay? I will be respected. Yeah. They're going to have to walk away. They're going to have to go somewhere else. Okay? Go somewhere else. Okay? where uh uh like somebody somebody could be like a lawyer or something like that um like i said you just cutting them off here okay energetically okay people are going to be cut off energetically okay at this time like like i said people could really it could feel like people are turning on you but it's not it's god protecting you from these energies because they gonna have to go somewhere else with that bullshit. okay it might seem like it's you like is it me you know what i'm saying because they want you to question your spirituality they want you to question beliefs in your faith in the most high God yeah time is going by slow right now it's crazy I thought I've been on here longer than that but I haven't I've only been here less than 30 minutes I've only been on here less than 30 minutes yep yep this is the truth with the ace of swords here a lot of truth is coming out yeah about the ten of swords a lot of endings a lot of death here okay 
all right because they're depending on they're depending on these jobs they're depending on the government here okay okay the same corruption okay they have more beliefs in corruption and corrupted organisms uh, uh, and organizations than they do the most high god what god told them to do okay if god told you to sit down pray with your granddaughter and stuff like that they wouldn't do it okay 9 12 okay something significant about your birthday here you gotta tell you hang in there keep loving on yourself at this time okay god is telling you hang in there keep loving on yourself at this time okay i know you want to uh, you know what i'm saying there's a lot of sadness going on because they're not going to be able to go nowhere a lot of these people are going to be overindulging getting super drunk at the bar okay when they see the table that god has prepared for you okay your table is ready okay your lunch is ready a lot of people want to go sit down in jail yeah they're going to be real sad real sad because they ain't got because they've been burdened here okay from their judgment for you okay because they didn't decide to love you they decided to emotionally manipulate you okay and not accept you for who you really are which is a star which is a healer god sent you in their life to heal them to awaken them and what they do did you just like christ try to kill you try to end you energetically 510 could be significant here okay 1005 105 okay something like that here okay between 1 and 5 p.m. Like I said, the number 10, 10 of swords ended up coming out here. 555 five, five could be significant. Big, major change, okay, energetically, okay? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know why people be, um, I don't care if they if they looking at me. They're just nosy. They're just curious, okay? So people could be curious about you or whatever like that here. Like I said, they're not in their pile, their power. They're not royal, okay? They're not, they don't come from royal bloodlines here. You could be uh, born in the family, but they're not, but their bloodline, their spirit, your spirit was incarnated in a family that you were supposed to come awaken here, okay? Your spirit was incarnated in, in, in a family with bloodline who was cursed, okay you came into their life to help them but instead they rejected you and this is why god is moving you out because you were never supposed to be here anyway they were just supposed to help you throughout your journey until until um your next chapter came that's all they was they were just there to um give you a shelter uh feed you you know what i'm saying yeah because they think that's what i'm saying it is what it is i don't really know how to get it out the way that i'm hearing it but you feel the energetic you feel the energy okay you can feel the energy of where i'm coming from yeah yeah yeah, God says keep re keep re keep creating, keep manifesting. Okay, yeah, okay. A lot of still stability is coming your way here. A lot of stability. Okay, eleven one 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 Aquarius energy. Okay, yeah, a lot of love, unconditional love. Okay, celebration and communication here. Okay, it's coming your way. That's the energy. Good morning, Drew. Good morning, True. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, something is already written here. Okay, God created you. God created this story for you. Okay? Okay? Yeah. And it's ending in stability here. Love and stability here. Okay? Okay, there's someone that's coming in to help to help you. I, I definitely see God is coming in here. So God is sending someone so, into your life here to help you. Okay? With your with your business, okay? To, with whatever you're creating here. Okay, someone, someone loves, someone's very charitable. Okay, they love what you do here. Yeah, like I said, this is not your family here. Okay, they could have, they could have, they, they don't invite you to places and this, that, and the third. Like I said, all of a sudden, when you come into this fame, this fortune, okay, when you come into your, your power here, now all of a sudden, you, they want to invite you to places and stuff like that here. You know what I'm saying? You, you never attack none, nobody in your family. Oh, I'm almost got his ass too. Oh, this is the cutest dog. It's like a black, a, a back, a black pug. Every time I see this dog, he is so cute. <laughs> so cute. I swear, I feel like mosquitoes be going to <laughs> he pee in the same spot every time. Um, I swear these mosquitoes be going around to their other mosquito friends, and they be like, "Hey, you know what I'm saying? This person let me suck on their blood." You should go let you should go you should go over there and go suck on their blood. You know what I'm saying? Vampires. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people to suck blood over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it really is time. It really is. Yeah. I know that's right. Cornelius. I know that's right, Cornelius. Yep. Yep. Yep, they're sad because they know they're finna get left behind. It's only a matter of time. 
So that's why they being real. That's why they really triggered because they know you leaving their ass behind. Okay, that's why a lot of people are in, trying to be in competition. Instead of working with you, they're working against you here. Okay, and that's work, and that and working against you is working against them. Okay, because you are anointed. Okay, you are favored. Okay, and people are going to be like gossiping about how you did something, how you made this move. Okay, how you mastered something. Okay, how you're how you have how you keep on winning. Okay, they're gonna be talking about this. Okay, how you keep on winning. Okay, five, five, five. All these endings. Okay, you went through addiction. You went through you de went through death, damn near death experiences, near death experiences, and you still got the ace of wands. You still got power. You still got legs. You still got you still got strength. Okay. You still, you still create, you still have the ability to create here? Yeah, I'm trying to tell you, these are not your family. And they're mad, they're sad because they rejected you. They crucified you. People from your past, your family. They looking at pictures and everything. They could have took you out of family pictures. Like they, they was really judgmental. Like I said, people are gonna be mourning you, but there's people that are gonna be loving you. They're gonna be telling you the truth. You have the clarity. You know why the people are competing with you. Okay, they stressed out because you the truth here. This ain't no game here, okay? You're doing what you love and people love you for it. The world loves you for it, okay? You're changing your community by changing yourself, okay? By living in your higher self and your higher truth, you're changing the world around you. Okay, this is why you got a lot of suitors. What I tell you about the wheel of fortune here, 10, 10, 1, 1, 1, like I said. Okay, you said this is how my life is going to go, and that's exactly how your life is. That's exactly how your life ended up. And people are like, "Wow, that's why I think you're doing some type of magic here." Yeah, King and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, okay, you're working with other people that got money. Everybody around you got money. Everybody got around you brings something to the table. Okay, okay, you don't need to party with these people. Okay, you don't need to put yourself in three. And, and, and love triangles and this, that, and the third here. Okay, you're not doing that this time. I feel like you're you're in think mode here. You in you're in isolation right now. Okay, you listen to your intuition here. You 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 stand you stand you stand uh, emotionally balanced here. You know what I'm saying? Intellectual, making sure that your emotions is not is not dictating your movements or your actions here. You know what I'm saying? You letting people do what they want to do, feel how they want to feel, as long as they don't put their hands on you. If you got to make certain moves and, and do something, I feel like a lot of this is happening because, you know, I, I finally lost my car. So now it's like I can't go nowhere. So now people want to try to treat me like I ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? They want to they wanna project onto you, you even harder, even more like, oh, you're nothing without me. If, if I didn't have this, you wouldn't have shit. They don't got to say it. Your energy is saying it. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about my own grandma. She don't even understand that. Okay, and even if she do, that's even more fucked up. You know what I'm saying? That's why that's why you don't like to tell people your business a lot. Like if something's going on with you and stuff like that, because they love it. They they smirk because your light is too bright. Whatever, whatever, whatever can happen in your life that's going to dim your light, oh they love it. They take full advantage of that projection. They take full advantage of your hardships. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. King of Wands in reverse. They take full advantage of that trying to trying to make you give up and and be depressed and not do nothing just lay on the couch and do nothing and then talk about you at the same time they put you in this depression mindset they don't motivate you they they make you feel less than and then they want to talk about you for being depressed yeah and we thank them for everything because they didn't do nothing but push us harder they don't that's what i'm saying that's the power of transmutation oh shit these mosquitoes child yeah like i said you're still of service here okay yeah someone's about to give you something here this could be also someone from your past here queen of wands in the upright like i said you're upright okay you walk in the upright okay they walking in some low vibrational energy here told you this work is going to bring you stability whatever you're working on it's going to bring you stability here that's why god said just keep on working okay you could be working on something that you started here in the past here as a child okay you're doing something that you always want to do as a child here you're going to be doing something that your childhood dreams here okay this is your this is your service okay or you could be doing something for child services or something like that here 
okay yeah like I said these people are stressed out stressed out having drinkless drinkless nights okay <laughs> blacking out drunk here stressed out can't sleep have faith okay okay somebody could be having a health scare or something like that and somebody is scared and they overindulge and they stressing out thinking that somebody gonna die but, but you didn't here okay the most high got your back here okay it's not your time okay but it is your time show time okay it's show time here Okay, whatever you're creating right now is going to bring you success and recognition that you deserve here because you are the creator here. Okay, this is rooted. This is something in your family tree, your bloodline. Okay, this is something that God is giving you this creativity, this passion here, these ideas, this spark of this spark of passion, this spark of creativity. Okay, like I said, it's like your creativity is, is, is it, it runs deep. Okay, your roots run deep, baby. Yeah, King of Pentacles. I'm trying to tell you, your small business is, your, 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 your page of Pentacles is turning into a, a King of Pentacles, okay? And this could happen quickly here, okay? Okay, somebody could have experienced a financial loss here. People in your family, okay? They're going to be experiencing a lot of financial loss, okay? They could be Kings or Queens of Pentacles or something like that at first, okay? They could be, they could be in a, 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 a position of a, a lot of uh, abundance right now. Okay, but my, 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 when those tables turn, okay, when that wheel turn, they're going to be looking at you. They're going to be looking for you here. Okay, you're going to be nowhere to be found. Okay, because they left you for dead here. And God said, wake up. God gave you that breath of life. God gave you that breath of life. Hi. <laughs> that dog paying attention to me. Cause that dog, because my energy is real good. You know what I'm saying? And his owner was like, what are you doing? like stopping this damn track tried to come over here and she like what the hell yeah i don't know we'll be about to spray some pesticides or something maybe it might be some it might be some wasp or some bees but they 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 pretty friendly they're not attacking nobody i know i ain't never heard nobody get stung so they need to come spray some mosquito spray that's what they need to spray like i said Yeah, you're starting up a small business right now here. This small business is going, you're going to receive a lot of success and recognition, okay? I feel like a lot of people are coming towards you with a lot of passion here, okay? A lot of suitors here, okay? Like, they're like, this is lit here, okay? Somebody could be having a session here. Yeah, they want to, they want to suit you. They like, like, there's, there's a lot of men and women who are going to be attracted to you, okay? Divine feminine, divine masculine, okay? This is the energy here. Okay, I see a whole timeline. Yeah, cause you look good, baby. Cause we almost there. You almost there here. Okay, there's a lot of men who are younger than you that find you very attractive here. But this could be just like in and out of energy. Okay, it's like you know what I'm saying you probably you know get some and then you know what I'm saying like your whole energy, your whole lifestyle is changing here. Okay, you might be crying right now because these people don't accept you. They're not your family here. Cry, pick up the pieces, and keep on going here. Okay because just because they don't accept you just because they don't want you a part of their family it don't mean that you're not god's family okay that's what they that's what they counted out okay you're related to the most high you're related to christ you're, you're related to jesus you think you think god was going you think you think you 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 god's child and you you supposed to be poor all all god's children are rich okay spirited okay rich in gifts okay rich in beauty okay rich in truth rich in love what i say queen of pentacles and you got stamina queen of pentacles okay they they that's, that's the crazy part about shit. they don't want to see you make it they don't want to see you financially stable but guess what okay you could be a chef a cook or something like that whatever you do here keep on going towards your journey here all right you could be feeling a little impatient but guess what time is up here for people in your past here for people in your past the time is up you're not waiting on those people anymore okay you're not looking back god said when i bless you don't look back when i bless you don't look back don't look back to these love triangles okay don't look back. Yeah.
you're going to have the money that you need to start up whatever it is, whatever you're selling here. Okay, keep going. Okay, temperance, Sagittarius, energy, earth angel energy. You're an earth angel. Okay, everything you touch turns into gold here. You just, everything you put your mind to is a success. Okay, you're going to succeed at anything that you put your, your mind, your focus, and your determination towards. Okay? As long as you keep going, it doesn't matter about who finishes first. Okay, you're going to finish. You're not in a race with people. Okay? Okay? People think that it's a race or something like that. They, they got to get rich before you or they got to have something before you or something like that. It's, it, this is not how we think here. Okay? This is not how we think. Yeah, and I'm outside with it. Outside with it, collective. I'm outside with it. It's almost one o'clock. We're going to see if the sun going to come out in 30 more minutes. We outside with it. Like I said, there's masculines. There's men out here stressed and depressed here. Okay? Can't sleep. Stress the fuck out here. Okay? Because you drink it. Some people got to drink just to go to sleep. Like I said. Look at all this abundance here. Like I said, like, your children... Or see you as an example they see how successful you are in your business and they want to have a, a business of their own here okay you're it's like you're setting up the blueprint for your future and your children it's not about them it's about you and yours and your family and the family that you're creating here okay I told you your table is ready reservations here okay they're like yeah oh this person having a party yeah let's go king and the queen of Pentacles Okay, you have great parties or you have great um, hospitality here. Okay, justice is coming here. Okay, these motherfuckers is going to jail and you're going to generational wealth. They're going into judgment and you're going into generational wealth. This whole time you've been going through all these trials and tribulations, you've been going through initiation, confirmation. Yeah, they could have seen you as a dependent at some point in time, and now they're gonna be the same people that you were you were dependent on at some point in time. Okay, they're gonna be dependent on you. They're gonna be needing you. They're gonna be calling you for your help. They ain't never needed you for nothing in life, but now all of a sudden, God God has prepared this table for you, this success for you, and this is all by your by your by God by divine design here. It's all supposed to happen the way that it's supposed to happen. It's supposed to have everything that happened to you is supposed to happen just how it's supposed to happen here. Okay? This King of Pentacles, okay, like I said, like I said, this man is a mature man. This man is a mature man. Okay? And he's coming in like he has like a he has like a um a very youthful energy, okay? About him though. Okay? This is something that's coming in fast here. Okay, this person could like fast car, more motorsports or something like that. You outside? Yeah, we outside. Look. Yeah. I see a lot of celebration though. I know you got a lot of things going on. Okay, I feel like there's about to be, I, I swear like, you could have been like in a dark space in your life. Tears. Feeling like, you know, why even try? You could have, you know, you came out of depression a beautiful phoenix you know what i'm saying you went through that death and rebirth okay like i'm trying to tell you like i see so much darkness like you came from the dark and and, and it's like you can't like you've been there already you've been sad depressed it's like now the only thing that's going to be on your face is happiness okay you're gonna like it's like you're not even gonna have a reason to cry anymore you build so much so much emotional intelligence so much spiritual strength and confidence in who you are and what you believe okay nothing that they do or project onto you is going to work it's not working and that's what's triggering them their bullshit don't work on you no more okay Trying to make you feel down, sad, depressed, okay, anxiety. Mm -hmm. 
that shit don't work no more. And that's really, that, I'm gonna be real, that's really what's triggering them. Okay, some type of document, some type of letter, okay, it's coming in. Okay, it's gonna bring you some type of healing here. Like I said, meditate, baby, because guess what? Keep meditating, keep staying in this isolation, keep building generational wealth for yourself here, okay? Someone could be under uh, uh, judgment here, okay, or un under investigation, okay, about a lot of money. They could be going to jail. Okay, somebody, somebody, somebody who has a lot of money is going to jail here. This point blank period. Okay, this could be a robbery or something, but there's some, there's some type of money investigation that's coming in here. Okay, somebody could have robbed something from you, and they're gonna go to court and go to jail from it. Okay, if they took something from you, they're gonna end up going to jail. Point blank period. Or if they don't go to jail, if it's if it's some type of statutes of limitations or something like that, they're gonna be in mental purgatory. Okay, this is why they drinking. Okay, yeah, because they didn't listen to their intuition here. Okay. Okay, this is not your this is not your mother. Okay, this could be a mask in here. Okay. I feel like I feel like a lot of y'all is like you didn't have to you didn't have to um you didn't have to have a mother or a father in your life because God has always been in your life. You know what I'm saying? You never felt like you was a you was a motherless or a fatherless child because You've always had that connection with God here, okay? That's why it didn't it didn't matter to you if you had somebody to talk to because you always had God to talk to, okay? You had God to talk to, and this is why you're only dependent on you and God, okay? That's the only person you need on your team is God, okay? You don't need all these people on your team, okay? You one deep. You always been one deep. So that's why it never really hurt you for people to walk out of your life or things to happen to where, you know what I'm saying? Where you have to be at, be um, be by yourself. Okay, you're a hermit. You're used to being alone. Okay, that's why it's never lonely at the top. You and God up there. Like I said in my last video, you and God at the top. So how am I lonely if I got God with me? I don't need your approval. Okay, I don't look for outside validation. Okay? Through flesh. Through material. I'm human. Do those thoughts and emotions come up? Yes, but I transmute it because I know that shit ain't important. I know that don't define who I am. Point blank, period. Like I said, you about to have people working with you. You about to have employees, okay? Your small business is about to blow up. Okay, you're gonna need help with how big your business is going to grow here in the near, okay? Cause I see worker ants, you know, people that know that we all need to work together to build this, to build this foundation. Cause we need each other. Okay. This is bigger than us. Okay. This ain't about who, 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 who gets the man, who gets the women, who's the flashiest. It's about what do I need? This inventory, uh, uh, how much, you know, period. Okay, to succeed, to keep going, to keep this business show on the road. Okay? Stop making it all about you here. Okay, you're beautiful and everything, but we all we all need to work together. Okay? And we're not here to compete with like who looks better, who gets the most attention. Like I said, who gets the most gifts and all this type of stuff. All that shit is childish. We're all beautiful to somebody, okay, in our own way, in on our own unique way. What what makes you beautiful is not what's on the outside, it's what's on the inside here. That's why a lot of people be like, oh, why is he with her? Or why is she with him? Because he's a beautiful person. Because she's a beautiful person. It don't matter what they look like. You're just mad because your nasty ass, hearted ass, Jezebel, nasty ass, energetic, sexual, lusting ass, demonic ass energy can't um a materialistic energy can't leech off of somebody else's blessing. Yeah, we definitely waking up, high monk. Yeah, like I said, you hidden in plain sight. You the ghost. Nobody knows who you are, but you making moves. They don't know how you making your money, but you making money. Okay, they want to be all up in your business. Yeah, we waking them up. Exactly. You you are so right about that. Yeah. Yeah. 
people were like, how they just sitting at home uh, recording themselves cook and now they're a millionaire. Because you're a child of God. That's all you got to do. They got to get up. They got to go take orders. They got to go do this and that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay? But if you feel like ain't nothing wrong with that, why you mad? Why you mad at someone who knows how to create generational for themselves doing exactly what they want to do? Having fun, taking pictures, being beautiful. I want to be beautiful. I want to get rich off of being beautiful. So I'm going to dress up. I'm going to spend my money on, on looking good all the time. Oh, you, you, you spending more money on this or on that or whatever. You ain't got no car, but I look good. I'm taking good pictures. I'm blowing up on Instagram. I'm getting paid to post. You know what I'm saying? Type energy. I'm being paid to read. Okay? I'm being paid to be a track star, a runner. Okay? An influencer, a chef. Okay? If I know how to cook, I, sh I could I should be I can still work for here, but I can also uh, create my own menu. Okay? I can sell plates. I can sell lemonade. I can make them type of drinks. You know what I'm saying? I could do that. Something that's a hobby you can turn into an income. Like what was I thinking earlier? What was I thinking earlier? It was something. Oh yeah. I was like, I know how to write music. And my nephew came up to me the other day. He he asked me, he said, Amy, can you teach me how to rap? You know what I'm saying? There's a business in everything in everything that you do. If you know how to write music, teach children. I was thinking about that. Teaching children how to how to write music. Because I write for everybody. I can, I bet you I'll write your child a hit. Yeah. It don't mean, just because you don't have like some type of recognition right now, it does not mean that you're not talented. It does not mean that you, you're not sitting on, on, on gold. It just means that in the right time, the right person will see what it is that you've been creating thank you thank you um hi mom oh this is an opal i love opal accessible to people in places where you used to be, okay? I knew it was. I love what they resonate. Me too. I love it. And ever since I've been I've been wearing it, it's like I don't know, it just called to me. And I I got this actually at a at a jewelry store, not at a crystal store. I know that it was authentic. That's why I got it. And since you, um, okay, it represents hope. It represents purity and it represents truth here. And that's what you represent. Okay. Wow. And I, and, uh, uh it says, like I said, I told y'all that y'all was going to get enhances in your intuition here. Okay, that's crazy that you brought that up here. Stimulates creativity and promotes emotional stability. And, I, and this is exactly what I've been talking about this whole time. So if you don't have no opal, make sure y'all get y'all a little opal pendant or something like that here. Or you can just 
you could just call in the energy of Opal right now. You know what I'm saying? Okay, look. Definitely take this time to meditate and go within here. Number nine with spirit here. Okay? You're about to receive this recognition. I'm trying to tell y'all. Okay, just meditate and stay balanced here and go through the, cy the emotional cycles, the transition here. Okay, that's what's dying in your life. The lack, the poverty. Okay, the depression, the anxiety. God is taking, God is taking all this, yeah, to, to, to replace it with confidence. Okay, to replace it with beauty, beauty and luxury here. Okay. Yeah, you died so that shadow can turn into light here. Yeah, this is the truth with the four swords here. Okay, marinate. Okay, take your spiritual, cleanse that negativity off you here. Okay. Get in that water. Okay, baptize yourself. Okay. Baptize yourself. Okay. Something was meant to for you not to, to, to do. Okay? Something was not an opportunity for you. Okay? It's not something that you want to be to represent your business or your foundation. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely see you taking action here. Okay, or lights camera action. Okay, you could be an actor, an actress here. Okay? Yeah, you're about to be celebrating or having parties about this accomplishment here. Okay? Okay, or at this performance okay somewhere you're going to go here okay it's going to change your life okay so that's why you that's why god is telling you to put yourself out there okay don't just it's, it's okay to be in isolation and meditate before you leave the house but leave the house okay because you're going to you're going to meet your you're going to bump into your soulmate okay you're going to bump into someone who's going to who, who's going to change your life very quickly here okay what i say what i say with the death card this is the truth Okay, you're meant to have a journey, go on a journey with this person here, to travel with this person, okay? Okay, travel is definitely in your future. Yeah, you're a star, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you. I am trying to tell you, you're a healer, okay? And take it one step at a time. You might be holding on to money right now, but guess what, you're not no thief, okay? You're not gonna do anything to get the money by any means, okay? You get it, but not by any means here, okay? And that's why it could seem like, you know what I'm saying, you're not where you need to be because it's like you're not willing to rob, kill, steal, or destroy nobody to get no money, okay? You just rather be patient and heal and wait on God, okay, to strengthen your mind, body, and spirit so that way you can motivate yourself, okay, to get this money here. And guess what came out? The Ace of Pentacles. And that's why God has opened this door for you because of your intention, because of your purity, okay? Because of your pure intentions. Like I said, they train now. Okay, they train. They know not to try to come over your fence. Okay, like you you let these dogs know. You let these low vibrational spirits know. Like, I love you, but I will fuck you up. Period. Okay, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Don't don't come over here with that bullshit. Okay? It's okay if we not we not soulmates here. Okay, I am an earth angel, but I will fuck you up at the same time with the moon in reverse. Okay, real quick. Real quick, come get this work. Come get this work. Like I said, your small business is, 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 is big business, baby. Don't let them, don't let them, oh, your little business, your little, your little lemonade stand. Okay, it's going to bring you, yeah, because something about your ingredients here. Okay, it's healing, herbal, or something like that here. It's healing. Okay, and a lot of people want that lemonade because it's the best lemonade in town. You know what I'm saying? It's the best lemonade in town. And children are the best judges, okay? If the children like it, it's money. It's money. Okay, this could be Girl Scout cookies or something like that. You know, you're teaching your children how to count money and, 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 and sell things. You, you, you're building your children up to be entrepreneurs and things of that nature. Yeah, they out here trying to see the solar eclipse. You know what I'm saying? We all out here got his solar glasses. You know what I'm saying? I'm just waiting for the sun to come out. Yeah, time to go, baby. It's time to go. You tired of that old lifestyle? It's time to go, baby. Okay? It's time to go. Who the fuck yelling down there? Oh, do we see it? Because they pointing. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Where's the sun? Look, everybody out here, child. I don't see it yet. What they? Oh, there go the sun right there. Hold on, y'all. Look. 
Hold on. Let me turn the camera around. Look, y'all. Oh, I knew God was going to bless me. Look at that, y'all. Isn't that so cool? Oh, we're going to see it, baby. Do it, baby. Stick it, baby. Wow. Oh, wow, y'all. My, You know what's crazy, though? You know what's crazy? Like, my ears are popping. Like, it feels weird. I'm feeling weird right now, y'all. Wow, y'all. Y'all gonna see the solar eclipse. We about to see that shit. Oh, I see them. I see it. Oh, my God. God, please move these clouds out the way. I'm trying to move the clouds, y'all. I'm trying to move the clouds so you guys can see. Hold on. Let me turn the camera around. Look at the clouds. It's trying to... Look at it, y'all. Look at it, y'all. Wow. Wow, you saw it first. Look at that beauty, y'all. The front of my head is throbbing, too. It's getting so quiet. Look at that, y'all. I'm trying to move the clouds. Give us a clear vision source. Wow. Do y'all feel that? I feel it overwhelmed. Jesus. Y'all, I'm crying. My eyes are watering. <sighs> oh. Thank you, God, for this clarity, for this vision. Whoo, did y'all see that? Let's go. Let's go. I feel like I got a whole download. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? Did y'all feel that? It is crazy, y'all. And I got it on video. Like... <laughs> That shit is dope. Look, look, it's coming back. I can't wait till it actually, and they say don't look at it. You're not going to go blind. Trust me, you're not. Unless you really can't see. <laughs> Unless you're already blind. That's why I said, because they say don't don't look in the sun, but we sunnays, you know what I'm saying? Wow. God has you too. Thank you, Miss Walker. Y'all, we finna see the eclipse, and it's right here above my head. So beautiful. Thank you, God, for this vision. Thank you, God. Like, now it's like my eyes is like, I don't know, it feel weird, y'all. It's very ominous. Like, it feels, I don't know how to explain the feeling. I don't know if y'all can explain how y'all feel right now. Yeah, 777. Yes, exactly. Luck, beauty. Like, it feels... It feels crazy. Like I'm finna get my other phone so I can take a picture. Yeah, the animals are, the animals are reacting too. Like animals are going crazy out here, y'all. And I'm walking barefoot too because I really want to feel the energy here. And I'm gonna put up these cards a little bit so because I'm done with this deck anyways. I just kind of wanted to clear our minds and enjoy this eclipse because. This is beautiful. And usually things happen in different places in the world. You know what I'm saying? 
And so the fact that it's actually happening, you know, right in front of me, I definitely want to share this with my family, you being my family. And yeah, like y'all really are my family here. Like we resonate on a soul level. Oh, it's, it's, in, it's cloudy right now, but I'm definitely going to take a picture of it <laughs> with my other phone because this is beautiful. It smells like rain. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah, everybody's outside. I don't want to put them on camera, but there's little kids outside. They got the um, solar eclipse glasses on and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? In the old times, you know, we probably would have got hung or, or, or burned at the cross. Hello. Did you see the eclipse? Oh, he's, he's driving. He's a maintenance man. But yeah, it's cool. Thank you for being in position. Thank you so much, too, because that's why I said, like, that's why, like, when my grandma was trying to get me to go to the grocery store, I'm like, do you not know what's going on right now? You know what I'm saying? Like, I swear, like, they swear they, they, you know, a lot of people, they be like, oh, you know, you'll miss Jesus coming home. You know what I'm saying? Like, if Jesus was coming, they'll be, they'll be trying to focus on trying to go to work and all this extra stuff instead of just being still. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they didn't, they didn't do the work. They don't know the work. They only know what they, pre what they, what they preacher been teaching them. Okay? The corruption. Okay? Because we, as we all know, all these preachers have been corrupt. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna show y'all my little setup. As soon as the sun come back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna try to make sure that my phone is cleaned off too because it's a little dusty. Them kids been real quiet. I should tell them to come out. What time is it? It's 1.20, so they say we got to like 1.33. That's when it's gonna be a full eclipse. Yeah, they tried to say something too. They tried to send me a notification talking about some Texas wasn't gonna, the eclipse is gonna be canceled. We weren't gonna be able to see it, but guess what? We see it, baby. Yeah, cause God is real. Sunny Nalera, yeah. what are you doing? I'm trying to Everybody's outside and we see the eclipse. Oh shit! The eclipse. Yeah, we see it outside. Where? Well, you gotta wait till the clouds move, Sunny. Go put something. Look at them socks. There, it's out. Wait, you see people driving, right? Yeah. Well, it's like 10 more minutes and then we'll be able to see it. Well, there were clips. Look at my daughter here. Isn't it so cute? Hold on. Go this way. So, oh, this. See her little heart? Well, I got to do the back, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the clips? Yeah, so it's cool. You see, everybody's outside. You see, and there's more people back there. And they're waiting for it, so it's so cool. Woo! Yeah, y'all, we we deep out here. <laughs> we deep out here in these streets. Like it's it's people back there, you know. You see, I don't want to put them too much on camera, but yeah, there's people everywhere outside, not looking at the sky. Cause it's dope. It's gonna be so cool. <laughs> I think he don't know what's going on because he's like, why is everybody outside <laughs> looking at the sky? Because <laughs> we know what the fuck going on. That's why. I'm going to use my tablet. You can take a picture with your tablet of the eclipse if you want to. What? It's a bug? It's a bug over there? Yeah. What kind Ooh. of bug? Three bugs. Is it big? Yeah. It's not ants? No. Y'all, we got 10 more, well, we got um less than 10 minutes now. How much? It's only flies, Alera. <laughs> so yeah, it's cool, y'all. We got to see a little bit of it, like a partial eclipse. So that was cool. That was so cool. People still out here wearing face masks, child. But they got the booster. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. They got the booster. Booty tricks. Yeah, y'all, I'm not going to really do too much talking right now because 
we just out here waiting for the clouds to move out the way so we can see clear skies. God, please, the sky guys, please give us clear skies so we can see this eclipse. You know what I'm saying? Move these thick clouds out the way. They hating on us. They don't want us to receive our downloads. They don't want us to receive, you know what I'm saying, our light codes, okay? You know what I'm saying? We trying to, we trying to, we trying to get active out here, okay? We active out here. So that boy to change his... All right, bye. No, I'm coming back out. You're not coming outside with no food, though. Mom, you have to take the video. I can't take video. I got, I'm taking the video with this phone. Okay. Well, I want you to hold this camera when I take a picture. I don't know how fast it might. Not yet, baby. Not yet. We got about... 18. Two. Actually, we got eight minutes, but it's okay. But it's okay. Yeah, I got bigger fingers, did you? This is so cool, you guys. I'm so happy. <laughs> this is so cool. I've never seen no shit like this in my life. Not like upfront and personal, you know what I'm saying? I only seen pictures, so you definitely know I'm finna get some good pictures. And I got that good Samsung Galaxy. We got that super zoom. Y'all, I'm finna get some dope ass pictures. Think I'm playing. There's so many people outside. It's crazy. I was out here earlier meditating, so, you know. Yeah, the birds, they're just like, they're flying fast as fuck. I ain't never seen no bird fly that fast. <laughs> they're trying to get out of Dodge. What is that flying in the air? Is that a bird? It's, it's high up there. High altitude. Hmm. Yeah, so I feel like I'm also picking up something that was taken from you. It's like if it was taken from you, it's so that you can gain something better. Everything that was taken from you give, gave you, like, you gained from it. You gained more from everything that was taken. That's a beautiful message. I love that. You gained more from everything that was taken. Go close that door. He got and go put them crackers up. We only need half of them. Don't come over here with them. Stay over there. We need that hole in your sock. No, I got my own phone. I'm taking a picture of my own phone. They want me to take a picture on their tablet. No, use your own tablet. You worry about crackers. I'm going to get my picture. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They worry about crackers and shit. I'm going to get my picture, y'all. Give us clear skies. We got to see it for like a split second, God. Come on, man. help a sister out. <laughs> this is so dope. I'm so excited. Yeah, you can do a video instead of um, but you gotta zoom in. I don't know if your tablet got zoom like mine, but at least you gonna have it. Don't start recording yet. You don't start recording until I show you that it's out there, okay? You heard me? Yeah, y'all, we got to see this eclipse. I already got some on my video I'm going to show you. I can't show you right now because we on live. Is it hot? Uh, the books, money, life. Thank you. Style. Thank you, love. But yeah, y'all, it's exciting. Y'all see how ominous it is out here? It's like so dark. And it's only, it's only one. Give her one. It's only 1 p.m. You gonna go inside? I don't wanna argue. No, you made me come over here. Stop playing with me, Sonny. I'm not finna yell at you. I don't wanna yell. Chill out, I'm trying to be peaceful. Y'all, look how dark it's getting out here. Ain't that crazy? No, there are a video with your tablet. Oh, uh -huh. gosh. Y'all see this yeah. shit? This is about to be so crazy. I wish I was in a position to where... I wish I could put, like, my phone up to the sky. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that, y'all. So I could take a quick picture of it. Because it's, it's so pretty. Like... We got to see it for a little while and stuff like that, so that was cool. I don't know, baby. 
I don't know if I should turn. Hold on, y'all. I know I don't want to. I don't. I just don't want to put people on camera, so I'm not going. So I'm not going to put it right there. But it's about to be so dope. We're gonna get this photo. Let me see. Put the Put y'all down real quick. Ah, ah. It's oh. not over there. It's over there. Why are they, you sitting there yelling right and here? screaming? No, it's going to be up there. Right here? Yeah, but the clouds keep on trying to cover it up, and that shit is pissing me off. It's going to be bright, Mom. Are you ready for it? Ready for it? Get off the road, baby. Y'all, it's getting dark out here. It's all ominous and stuff. You should see all these birds. Look at the birds. They're all like flying up in the air and shit. I'm going to get my own Y'all, I feel like a storm is coming or some crazy shit. Look how dark it's getting out here. Look at the sky. You see the skies? It's crazy, y'all. Show us, guys. Show us. I feel like they could have they could have put cloud more clouds in the sky out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be clear skies. What's going on? Yeah, it's 1:30. We don't even get to. Where is it? I want to see it. This is some bullshit. This is some bullshit right now. They're tricking us. The government tricking us. I know. Like, how did all these clouds just like come out of nowhere? Government is guilty. Sonny, hush your mouth. Jesus. Y'all, it's, it's getting dark though. Y'all see that shit? Look at these dark clouds forming. How's it getting this dark this fast? Because it's a solar eclipse, it's blocking out the sun, but we I wanna see it though. Oh Go close that door. Crazy. Where is the sun? I don't even know where the sun is at right now. Honestly, y'all. Hey, beautiful. Thank you so much. We see. At least we got to see a little bit of the solar eclipse, though. The partial eclipse. It's really dark right now. And honestly, we got two more minutes before the full eclipse happens. It's really dark. And it's just getting darker and darker, as y'all can see. Whoa, look at this. Somebody's smoking that gas right now. It's him. Who? Don't be pointing. No, he's not. No, it's not. I can't. It's crazy, y'all. This is crazy. <laughs> it's dark as fuck out here. Wait, Mom, is it Monday? Yes, it's Monday. Yeah, that's all our kids on Monday. Duh. Why are you? Whoa, y'all, look how dark it's getting. <laughs> fuck. Stop cussing, Alira. <laughs> you like Charlie and Bianca getting off school early. Really early. We think the solar eclipse is getting dark out here, y'all. It's crazy. Look at this sky. It's pitch black dark. Hopefully, we actually get to see it. Look how dark it's getting, y'all. Oh my God, this is crazy. Where is it? Because I'm ready. Ugh. Look at the sky. Whoa. You can get blind by the solar eclipse. I already looked at it, so no, you can't. Ooh. Whoa. Mommy, people put it in blanket. Y'all at 1.30 p.m. P.m. 1.32 p.m. I mean, yes, yeah, p.m. A.m.? No, it's morning time. Go, go, go. Go, y'all throwing me off. A.m. 1.32 p.m. It is pitch black dark right now. And I would give... Not anything, but I would love to see this eclipse. God, please move these clouds. It's like the clouds just went over to the sky, and it's just dark out here. And look at all these big birds in the sky. Wow, look at these birds, and they're huge birds. Hold on. Oh, y'all can't see them. They're way over there, but yeah, y'all. Look how dark it just got huge birds in the sky alabama we ain't seeing the eclipse yeah we just seen the little
little bit of it. Hopefully these clouds move out the way. God, please move these clouds out the way. Jesus. Sunny, hush, hush. Hush, go, go away. You're, you're a negative talker. Stop talking negative. Come on, I'm trying to see these clouds out the way. Come on, show me, show me, show me. Show me, show me, show me. No, you don't, because you don't even know where it's at. You're looking in the wrong direction. If you did, you wouldn't know exactly where to look. The sun is over here. It's gonna be so crazy, y'all. I got to see it earlier, it was cool. At least we got to see some, it was dope. <laughs> I get it. It's pitch black, this is crazy. What did I tell you about saying hi to people that don't say hi back? <laughs> This is about to be so dope, y'all. It's pitch black. <laughs> no, it's turning light. Move around. Come on, show, show it. Show us. Show us. Please get these stuffs out the way. We just saw just a little bit of it earlier. I got it on video. Oh, you did? Yeah. So hopefully the clouds move so we can actually really see to see it, but I got I got the partial eclipse though. <laughs> Come on, move out the way, clouds. Well, I just saw a sparkle of light in the clouds. That was dope. That was dope. I probably definitely would not be flying right now. Oh, it's getting it seems like it's getting brighter. Oh, that fucking sucks. It seems like the sun is coming back more. I, I would have gave oh my gosh. It's like I don't know. All those birds over there. I don't know if y'all can see. Like, oh, I zoomed in too fast. Sorry. But yeah, look at the birds. They're 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 acting weird here. It's like huge birds. Look at them. Look at the birds. They're like all. They're like they're like flying in the circles, and they're like staying together. And they're like all flying in circles. It's crazy. Wow. That was. Look at those birds right there. It's like. I know, it's like a whole group of them. Honey, why aren't you recording? Wow. I'm going to show y'all the video in a minute. If y'all go back, y'all see the partial eclipse on here. Okay? It was so cool, y'all. I thought she I thought she went to work, child. I guess she didn't go to work because she came back home. She had her work clothes on, didn't she? Yeah. No, it's only because um they probably let her off Yeah, and we all out here. Alira, she don't care. Oh, uh, look at the sun. It's, look, that's crazy that the eclipse came and then now the sun is coming out. And then now, look at how the clouds are just freaking moving out all of a sudden. <laughs> I got to see it on my camera. It's on, it's on recorded. Yeah, because it's got, as soon as the eclipse came, it got clouded. <laughs> At 1 p.m. it got dark. <laughs> mm -hmm. God told me to come outside in the nick of time. There, there, there it goes. Oh, hold on. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is, y'all. There it is. It right there. It was. You missed it. I bet you'll see it on my camera though. <laughs> It was up there. Did y'all see that? Oh, 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 it's back. It's back. There it is, y'all. That is so cool. Yeah, people don't got the patience. You know what I'm saying? They don't got the patience, but we do. I don't know why my. That's so cool. I thought it's yep, you got to see it, baby. It's gonna come back. Oh, 
my phone is acting weird y'all they don't want like it's zooming in like super zoom for some reason look at that oh my god get out the road so cool so cool it's up here Y'all see that shit? Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna have to put y'all down for a second. <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. You never came out, right? It was so cloudy. It, it, we got it. I got the partial eclipse. Now this boy want to climb stuff. <laughs> I'm getting some pictures, y'all. Hold on. And, and the crazy part about it is now the um, the clouds want to cover it up. It's so annoying, but it's so beautiful at the same time. <sighs> like I'm getting pictures like this, you know what I'm saying? They're kind of looking wonky because the clouds are like in the way though, but Crazy looking, right? <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Stuff like that is so amazing, y'all, to me. And now I'm like sitting like a cave woman <laughs> in my dress outside on the ground. And it's like all these clouds want to just cover it up, but it was so cool. It was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it, y'all. It was so fun. I hope y'all got to see it, but I'm glad I got it on video though. That's one thing I do got. What you eating? A burger? This is so cool, guys. <laughs> In Texas, y'all, seeing the full clip. <gasps> there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Keeps pivoting through the clouds. Move away, clouds. Move out of the way. We need some wind out here, you guys. But the video that we got, I feel like it's great here. It just sucks that we only get to see like every like small little pieces of it. Honestly. What you got to say? I'm on top of the world tonight. <laughs> Somebody on top of the world tonight, child. It's so cool. We got to see the clips, and it was so cool. It's okay. I'm, I'm recording me. Oh. <laughs> He's not away. Oh, I need to cut these ends of my hair. That was so cool, you guys. I will pray for you, JL. 
I'm trying to. I know. We're waiting for these clouds to move. They are kind of moving fast. Babies. I know that little bitty piece. Once this cloud, once this big black cloud moves, we're going to be able to see it. And I'm trying to push these clouds this way, bring some wind here so the clouds can just like, you know, move, 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 you know? Get them to move. But, I mean, we looked directly at the eclipse and nothing happened. I didn't go blind. <laughs> That's why I said, I said the government will try to find any way to get some type of money out of us. We gotta buy solar glasses, like, nah, bruh. <laughs> We good on that. Oh, wow, we can't see the solar eclipse. We about to see it. We about to see it. Be quiet. But yes, yeah, like probably like around like an hour or something like that into the video, you're gonna be able to see the eclipse, you guys. Cause I, I did I was able to get it um a video of it on the camera. <gasps> We're about to be able to see it soon. I just wanna get a good picture and, and I would, but I can't really I can't really um <laughs> hold the record camera and you know what I'm saying I can't do both so I'm just trying to don't bring that over here wow there it is baby Look at this one, you guys. You see that? So cool, right? Yeah, we're getting rid of all negativity. I feel like that's what's going on here. All the negativity in your life is is is, is going away. Here. Ooh, some of y'all finna get a luxury car. It's a nice ass. Um, somebody drive a nice ass Mercedes Benz. Okay, let's just say that. Come here, come here. Okay, you finna get a luxury car. Okay. Somebody finna trade their car in and get a nice car. Exactly the Mercedes Benz. You might not have a car now, but you about to be you about to have a, a luxury car. Sorry, that's a cracker dust. Wanna buy? No. Hey y'all, y'all make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Y'all, we just seen the spider equip. It was a spider on my arm, y'all. So Basically, there's a spider on my arm, okay? That's more divine feminine energy. That's like, it's like a Mama. spiritual web. Like I said, you connected to source, okay? You have a lot of, uh, uh, you're about to be receiving a lot of different channel messages as oh, well, funny. too, okay? I feel like your channel is about to go up, okay? Expand your business is about to go up, expand your creativity is about to go up, expand your intuition, your psychic gifts and abilities are about to go up and expand here, okay? Yeah, I feel like it's a little too cloudy out here right now, for like this, but... Yes, I'm glad. At least I got a, a nice, decent picture. So it's cool. Spider, you about to get blessed big time. Amen. And I claim that message. You know what I'm saying? It's all about big blessings, okay? Yeah, like I said, God said, don't look back. If y'all didn't catch the beginning of this live, y'all make sure y'all run it back whenever you have time. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a lot of good spiritual downloads about what's going to be going on in the energies to come here. Oh, look. Oh, wow. Did you see that, Sonny? Mm -hmm. The guy went inside. I know, but like I said, just have patience here. When you have patience, you get to have the experience. You know what I'm saying? You get to have the experience. If you just wait on God, you get to see everything. Like I said, we sometimes we be too busy in this world. We be like, we be thinking that, oh, because our coworkers, our managers want us to demand us to be doing something like, no. Today I'm finna sit with God. 
You know what I'm saying? That's why I feel like a lot of us have been called to entrepreneurship because our these businesses, they won't let us pray. They won't let us be be called, be free. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. Yeah, blessing, blessings, intuitive and intuition. Okay? In, inner blessings. A lot of inner blessings. Okay? Your blessings are coming from within. And these are going to be manifested in your physical reality. Okay? And these things are going to be manifested in your, in your spiritual reality. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Sonny, go, go put some of them crackers up. Go put the rest of those up. You ate enough, okay? Go put them up. Get down. Girl, leave my camera alone. I timed out my source for 86,000 yeah, seconds. Yeah, she's 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 a very negative speaker too. Like Spider, you about like get blessed big time. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I noticed about my grandma. She won't just let us be. I'm in the street because I want to be, because I'm chilling. And she keep on talking about what I got in the yard. It's none of your business. It's none of your concern. It's not bothering you. It's not causing you any harm or anybody else any harm. Nobody else is bothered by it but you. You know what I'm saying? I have a I have a pallet. I have a picnic in the yard. That's all I have in the yard. In my purse. In my journals. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm of nature. I don't have no problem with sitting in the streets, sitting in the grass. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the country. How old is who? <laughs> What? You said now I'm all being mean. Yeah, that's why she came back home instead of went to work. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can hear her in the background. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? My children are with their parent. I know where he's at. He's right here. You know those little, those, this little thing right here. Kids always climb on that. There's enough room. There's a gate. He, he, he damn near nine. He about to be nine years old. Like, he knows how not to fall off there. He got balance. I'm with him, you know? We out here chilling, minding our own peaceful business with God. Taking in taking in the beautiful, oh, there it go. There it go, y'all. There it go, right there, you see it? It's because it's cloudy. It's cloudy. Over there? Mm-hmm. A little bit. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all can see the solar eclipse if y'all rewind this video. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. You feeling the royal vibes? Y'all stop doing that right here by me. Go. Stop, Sonny. And now it's starting to drizzle. The rain is coming. We're about to be able to see it a little bit better. You know. I want to take a picture because I just look so cute right now. Yeah. I bet you're fine as Okay. No, not that one. Not that one. Yeah, peace is still. And that's what I said. That's what I said. I told you what's wrong, I'm gonna turn. It feels so good out here, y'all. I, I thank God for the message that, that we got today together, that we could be here together, you know, enjoying this moment, you know what I'm saying? Enjoying this peace. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I think it's like baby boomers. I feel like I feel like the spirit of narcissism is over like baby boomers because they were so used to doing something a certain way or their parents was 
was real strict on them. So, you know what I'm saying? That's the only way they know type shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all get down. Honey, get down. One, two. Get down, hold on. I need to get my stick. People be saying some funny stuff in the comments. But yeah, y'all. Oh, no, that's, uh, yeah, make sure put that stick down. It's but anyways, yeah. Like yeah. I feel like that's that's Lou, we up, we only going up. Right, exactly. Stop, leave me alone. Hi Brendan. How are you? I did some sound bowl earlier. I did some chattel messages earlier. And I, we got to see the partial eclipse earlier on this video. So, you know, like, share, and subscribe. Um, like I said, if you feeling the royal vibes. And then you wonder why people want to be mean. Because you don't. It. And I told you to put that stick up and you still playing with it. Get out of the street. Go. I'm okay. I'm better than okay. I'm blessed. That's why I told you to go sit down. Cars just flying around here. Hi, Brendan. This ain't your channel. Well, yeah, y'all. Let me go ahead and get out this street. <laughs> It's still kind of, you know, not really sunny, but it was cool while it lasted. I feel like there's way too many clouds in the sky right now that just don't want to get out the way. Maybe we might see. Maybe we might. Cause it's like. I'm going inside. <laughs> Yeah, it's like right up above my head. Hopefully, you can see it right before I close this video out. But I'm starting to see colors. I'm starting to see like the root chakra here, like grounding. Okay, stay, stay grounded. Sunny, stop! Look what y'all doing to this plant! So you did you you taking a nap? It's okay. I'm finna make him go to sleep. You go. You taking a nap when you get inside? Watch. Fix that pot back. Fix that back. Is that how it was? Leave it alone then. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in the street, y'all. <laughs> trying to show y'all this. <laughs> trying to show y'all this sun. You might see it right there. It looks like an eye is watching. Doesn't that look like an eye in the sky, y'all? It's like an eye in the sky. It's crazy. That's so cool. We'll just go to a shelter. Okay. No, I can go to a shelter right now. They're fine. They're with me. And they're, they haven't even been over there. They've been right here. They're just right here because you're here. They're just doing all that because you pulled up. They, yes, they was inside the whole time. What? I'm, I can't talk and tell you. No. Because you ain't need to be right there. Why not? Because the people be down there. No, they not. You said that they put that on your door because she needed to just send you something. Okay, they already sent you something. They gonna see you sit when they sit. Well, I can't just stay inside all day. They, they, they need to, but they need to be at school. They're not at school because school is over for them. They get homeschooled. They're out of school. It's the summertime.
They're not gonna they're not gonna kick you out. <laughs> so now she wouldn't lose her home because I'm sitting outside in the grass praying and my kids outside playing. That's not what it is, trust me. We already know. Thank you. Like I told y'all, this is what goes down. Cause I don't got nowhere to go. They took my car, so now they could just do whatever. And I can't have my own opinion as a grown adult. I can't reply. I just have to shut up like I'm a kid. Like I'm five years old. Get away from her car. Go inside now. Go, Alira. And then I got to build. And then I just hate it because then my frustration be built on my children. And I don't even like to yell at my children. You know what I'm saying? They're children. They're doing what children do. And I'm going to stay out here and pray and be here with God. If they give her a warning to kick me out, then I'll get out and I'll go to a shelter. I don't care. I don't. And guess what? I'll be outside meditating in the shelter. Bye. Everything that's supposed to happen, it will happen for the reason it's supposed to happen. She got thousands and thousands of dollars on her income tax. Did she try to offer to at least put me somewhere for a month? You know what I'm saying? So I can get myself together because I can't get in there on my own right now. No, that's not what, of course they're not going to do that. When God gives me my cornucopia of blessings, they expect me to do that for them though. Like, no, you, you had no problem paying your bills when I was broke. Now that I'm rich, now all of a sudden you having problems, you having financial problems, now shit going on. It's supposed to. That's exactly how God wants it to be. I'm not going to stop being me because you. I told you she picks, she's speaking up negativity. Oh, then people going to do this. Oh, then people going to do that. She'll probably, she, who, whoever knows, she's she talking to people. Those people are messy. They'll probably call the office and be like, yeah, there's a person in her house or whatever, just to get me put out and try to make it seem like it is what it is. It don't matter. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I already know what 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 was what is and what it was. I'm not afraid of poverty. I've been in poverty most of my life. It don't mean nothing to me. None of that's worrying me. I don't care. I'm not finna stop praying and, and meditating to the most high just because you feel uncomfortable or you trying to everything that comes out your mouth is negative. And people don't understand the power of their tongue. She's a powerful manifest. That's why I said we only speak, every time she speak negativity, she get mad because I say, oh, we only speak positivity around here. You know what I'm saying? Don't say nothing back. She asking me all these questions and I'm giving her responses and she getting upset because I'm responding to her questions. I'm like, oh, so I can't talk. I should, I, I'm, let, me, let me just shut up. And then when I don't say nothing, oh, you ain't got nothing to say? Hell no, I don't. It's conditional. She let me, she has two cars. She let me use her other car. Now I'm pretty sure it's going to be some problems with that. Now I'm probably not going to be able to do different type of performances and stuff like that. Because she's going to be like, who's going to watch your kids? My sisters are against me. They don't want to help me out. But they all want to have tickets to my show, though. Okay, when I make it. When I really make it. They want me to be sad. They want me to be a, a, a drug addict. They much rather me be out here doing drugs and on alcohol smoking cigarettes and all this other stuff what do you mean by don't leave now though what do you mean yeah she left go to work you should have been went to work that's why I said they always come back to finish you off to, to fuck up your energy We, we over here, everybody, we ain't even the only ones in the street. And she worried about, she causing more attention to us than we even have on us. Why, why, why? You doing all this hooping, hollering, and yelling, and bringing attention to this stuff. And we out here chilling. Ain't nobody being bothered by us at all. 
They want to see me cry. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's why I've been holding. I've been holding. I've started. I'm holding back tears. They want to see you like you're their God. Without them, you be nothing. You be nowhere. Are you serious? Do you not who know? Who, do you not know who my God is? The God that we serve. If I am somewhere that 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 looks down and out, I'm not gonna be there for long. God don't never let me stay in a sunken place for long. And that's for sure. And then when you disappear, they want to know where you at. Like I said, it's like you a dump tank for their low vibrational energy. Go dump on somebody else. All these people going to jail and going to hell, they ain't got nobody to dump on. So they come to you. Yeah, but thank you guys for your positivity, though. And then she on the phone with her other Christian judgmental sister. And they talking, yeah, yeah. And we, we, we. She'll talk to anybody that's, that that thinks like her. That's why they that's why they best friends, because they think alike. Look how your children, look how the generational uh, curse is upon your children. You want to put that generational curse on me, too. It ain't going to happen. I'm a generational curse breaker. I'm not going to jail. I'm not finna be in no toxic-ass marriage and, and pill-popping drug addict children and and murderers and gang bangers and robbers and you know what i'm saying whatever the low vibrational energy i don't i don't resonate with that frequency i'm not a part of this bloodline i came here to help you are not my family they always say they're gonna do something and don't do it they do just a little bit just to get back into your energy just to get back into your business it's crazy they can tell everybody all your business but certain people in your family they want to keep shit a secret oh why why everybody ain't running their mouth about what's going on with them everybody always want to run their mouth about what's going on with me and my family Let's start talking about how your family, look at how your family turned out. Look at all your children, how all your children turned out. You want to talk about me and mine? Look where yours is at. Thank you. Thank you for that verse. Yeah, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Isaiah 54, 17 is one of my favorite verses. One of my favorite verses. And that's why they mad, because no weapons that they have formed against me is prospering. No words, no none of that. They're spiritually, they're spiritually abusing me. They're very spiritually abusive. I come from a very spiritually, emotionally, and physically abusive family. Verbally abusive family. And they're all liars. And I gained a lot of these toxic characteristics from them that were not me I'm against it but that's all I knew that's all I learned I'm not a bad person I'm not a devil I don't do dark magic on people and I don't try to make a man stay with me. I don't do spell work and all that weird shit that they say. And then they wonder why they stay like, oh, this world is doomed and all this extra stuff. Because look at you. Look at, the, look at, look at what type of person you are. If this world is doomed, it's because of people like you. Because of people like you. Y'all have been killing people. The spirits, the angels that God had come down here to help uplift the world and make the world a better place. And this is why all this death is going to occur. But you want to know why Mary cried so much that her fucking tears turned into blood? 
because she's crying for your fucking ignorance. She's crying for your fucking children. Do you know do you know what it's like to bear that pain, to bear that position? That shit ain't easy. You can't yeah, exactly. You can't tell me you support God when everything that you say out your mouth is low vibrational. My own mother and siblings treated me like crap while I was homeless. I know how it feels, right? Exactly. When 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 you know, when they were homeless and they were down now, they all lived with me at one point in time. And I never charged them a dime. I never made them feel like crap. I, I, I bought them things. I gave them money. A safe space to get away from whatever they were running from. And then that's why God put me in this position. So that way I can see that how I treat people is not how they're willing to treat me. And they want you to go back to that old, that old forgiving. It's like, yeah, I forgive you, but I have boundaries now. I'm not going to give you all of me like I used to. I'm not. Like they don't, they want your position, but they don't want your, they don't want your struggle. They don't want your pain. They want the life, but they don't want they don't want the death. You can't get the life without death. You can't get this life without death. You have to go through that death. Yeah, exactly. I'm in a whole new world. That's what I'm saying. We're in different dimensions. And when our timelines cross paths, it's triggering. I'm done with these people. I am. I don't care. Oh, you talking crap? Yeah, because I can't. Because you know I can't go anywhere. You know I would pack up all my shit and leave while you at work. I would. But God set me down for a reason. I don't know. I'm just going with the flow right now, y'all. And it's sad. Like, I don't even want to be in the house when my grandma is there now. And I, and I love my grandma. <laughs> and now I can't even stand to be around her. making me angry because and I'm not crying because I'm sad I'm crying because I'm angry because they don't get it I'm sorry y'all <laughs> hurt people hurt people and best people best people right sometimes you can't forgive certain people you can't fix people's actions all you can do is go forward with your life right this is who you are the lord shall lift you up in, in the due season right and that's all i've just been patiently waiting for you know what i'm saying i've been i've been traveling i've been traveling for a long time and I healed myself from suicidal thoughts. I healed myself from depression. I healed myself from, um, you know, sexual addictions. I healed myself from actual addictions all by myself, all with God's help, all through, you know, meditation and, and, and being secure with my spiritual beliefs. I healed myself and I didn't need no medication. 
that's why you know what I'm saying like no I cannot deny the truth I cannot deny the truth and they want me to deny the truth they want me to be quiet they want me to close my eyes and ears and I've said this before about the see no evil hear no evil speak no evil nothing that I hear is evil nothing that I speak is evil and that and but I see all good and evil both good and evil I hear both good and evil and I speak on good and I speak on evil just talking about that in the reading too like we were talking about all the tears you cried and, and and things are going to turn into you know smiles you know what I'm saying for all the tears you know for all the sad days God is replacing that with happy days you know what I'm saying God is replacing all your sadness with happiness I hate crying y'all but I felt thankful that you guys are here with me and um, yeah we've been on this live for a little while now I'm gonna come back with some renewed energy um, maybe later on today um, try to try to keep my mind focused on my plans and what I plan to do um, Yeah, I'm because I'm kind of like I don't know. My mind is like it's like really spacey here. It's, it's, that car was loud, <laughs> so it was cool. Yeah, I think she's probably going to go work out or something. Sometimes we have our moments and we have to let go of things that don't want to let, that we don't want to let go into order to move forward with our lives. Always remember, you are, but yeah, you're right, Kate. Thank you for being here. Much love, much abundance, much peace. It's crazy because I'm sitting on a blanket right now and it's like, it has like a whole bunch of peace symbols. <laughs> Wow, that lady has the same car, my same car that I used to have. <laughs> so that's 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 very significant. I feel like God is gonna bless you with um, everything that you need. So you know you can do it. I just hurt. it just hurts like hell when it comes from people who call themselves family. Yeah. Sure. Well, go charge it. Mom, there was a better view of the solar eclipse on our video. Oh, cool. Yeah. It does hurt when it's when it's people close to you. It does. You know what I'm saying? That's why I know like I've made it and I know it's all because of God and it's all because of you too. Cause y'all helping me through this too. Yeah, she definitely came to drain my spirit. And if I had somewhere else to go right now, I would definitely not hesitate to pack up and go. But I have to deal with what I got to deal with right now. And that's why I said, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to go recharge. I'm going to wash my feet because I've been walking in the street. You know, I smile to keep from crying. I laugh to keep from crying. 
I just hope it don't turn me like into like a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> cause sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I just want God to make sure that, you know, just keep me. And it's crazy because it's like, I'm working, I'm recording, and like, they disrespectful. Like, I never disrespect her at work. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I just keep on getting disrespected. And I show so much love and respect. So yeah, y'all. I love y'all so much. Thank you for all your your gifts, your donations, your your um, positive affirmations, your prayers. And I see y'all at the top. Don't stop. Keep going. Until next time, stay alive with Divine Minds.